What I'm going to do here today is I'm going to install a whole house surge protector in my main service panel. Now, here's the caution. Don't do this unless you're comfortable doing electrical work. Uh, most people aren't, so don't do this. Uh, get an electrician to do this if you're not comfortable. Uh, I'm doing this because I'm familiar with electrical work, but I, this is just a how I did it, not a how-to, okay? All right, so I'm at my service panel. I'm turning off the power. That's the main. I got that turned off. Now I'm gonna take the cover off. This surge protector is matched to this panel. This is a Square D QO panel. So if you're gonna install your own, you'd have to get a surge protector that's matched to your panel. You know, when we turn the breaker off here, the main breaker, it only de-energizes the panel, not the top. So be very careful if you go in here. It's not recommended you go in here unless you have electrical experience or you're an electrician, okay? That said, I'm showing you what I'm doing, not what you should do, okay? All right, I've made space here at the top. I moved this uh, double pole breaker for the dryer down one, and I removed uh, a double pole breaker here, a uh, baseboard heating circuit. That's redundant now because we have a uh, heat pump installed in the house, so we're not gonna be using those baseboard heaters. What I've done is I've created a space here, a double pole space at the top of the panel, as close as possible, to the main breaker, okay? The other thing you wanna do, it comes with a, a neutral pigtail here. And we're gonna make sure that that's trimmed as short as possible. So you wanna have the shortest route for any surge that enters the panel that comes in like from a lightning strike. That's why you wanna have the surge protector installed as close as possible to the main breaker and have the pigtail quite short. The neutral bus is here, so we're gonna tie into that. So how much are we gonna need? that all right and we're gonna we're gonna sneak that guy in there okay I know I don't need a very long neutral so I'm trimming that off like that okay I've got the neutral trim back and I've got a spot for it right here in the neutral bus put it in there push the breaker in and I'm gonna, then I'll adjust this over a little bit. Make sure it makes full contact with the terminal right here. And, all right. All right, that's it. It's installed as close as possible to the main breaker with the shortest possible neutral pigtail. So when we put the cover back on, We'll re-energize the panel, and uh, if this is working as it should, a green light will show here, and that'll show the full uh, life of uh, the surge protector. If, if we get hit with lightning or something like that, or if there's a surge in the main, it, uh, it acts to protect the rest of the panel and all our electronics, uh, that light will go out. It'll be, it'll be burnt out and uh, time to renew the surge protector. There's no resetting this. Once they blow, you have to change them. But uh, the whole idea is that they uh, they take that surge and uh, your electronics are protected. So I'm just going to blank these wires from the, the baseboard heater circuit that we disconnected. Okay. And they are labeled. So we know what they are. Should we ever want to re-energize that circuit? Okay. And we'll just tuck those in there like that. There you go. Okay. Okay. That's installed. Those are blanked. Let's put the cover back on the service panel and re-energize it. And we'll see if this light comes on. Okay, here goes the power. Okay, and we see that that energized. Now we have one more step to do. Okay, so we have a legend in here. This was the dryer, and you see I moved the dryer down. And this was living room and dining room heat, and now we've blanked those ones off. Okay, and I've upgraded the legend inside the panel. 
I move the dryer down to here. Surge protector at the top. Okay, it's very important when you change anything to do with the breakers that you upgrade the legend. Anyway, that's how that's done. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you again here soon on Everyday Projects. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.